12 ground cover plants for shade. Bunchberry Cornus canadensis is a native plant in northern regions of North America. Classified as a form of dogwood, this is a low-growing 3 to 9 inches deciduous shrub that makes for an excellent ground cover plant in park shade locations. It is showier, when in bloom, at least than some of the other native choices in the region, such as spotted wintergreen. When you hear mention of ground covers for shade, hosta immediately comes to mind. This is an enormous genus of landscape plants, comprising dozens of species and hundreds of hybrids and named cultivars. Remember, though, that some types of hosta need a bit more sun to achieve their best color. In general, hostas with green leaves, as well as blue-leaved types such as halcyon hosta, are ideal choices for dense shade, while gold-leaved types and those with variegated leaves, such as patriot hosta and the similar, minuteman, should be given a little more light. Hostas are generally well-behaved plants that grow and spread slowly. You can use them without fear of rampant spreading. Bugleweed is such an aggressive plant that the best advice is to avoid it altogether in all situations. No matter how careful you are in your landscape maintenance, you will never stay ahead of this vigorous, creeping spreader. Gardeners who plant it for its attractive shiny dark green or bronze leaves often come to regret the decision, as it can quickly spread into turf grass or onto neighboring properties. On the positive side, it does form such a dense mat that weeds are generally choked out. You have probably heard of the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, in which the Patriot of the American Revolution famously warned about the coming British invaders. It's a good idea to be highly suspicious about another English invader, the long-used ground cover for shade, English ivy, hetera helix. Garden ferns are an unusual family of plants, since they include several different genera that reproduce from spores rather than from flowers and seeds. There are fern species to meet the needs of shady locations in just about every climate zone. Barrenroot is the common name for the epimedium genus of plants, comprised of several dozen species, a few of which are important landscape plants. The plant is also known commonly as bishop's hat. Epimedium grandiflorum rose queen, has one of the prettier flowers among the barren roots. It reaches a height of 12 to 18 inches with rose-colored flowers. Epimedium pubigarum is one of the taller types, 24 inches, it bears white flowers with yellow centers. Many types of barren root are planted for their nice leaves, more so than for their blooms, although the jester's hat shape of Epimedium pubigarum is very nice. Epimedium x rubrum produces flowers with three colors. These are excellent ground cover plants for dry shade. Spotted dead nettle is an evergreen ground cover for shade that sometimes offers variegated leaves as a selling point, though its beauty is further enhanced by pretty white, pink, or purple flowers. This plant is considered slightly invasive in portions of the northeast and northwest US, but most gardeners will have no major problems with it. It grows 6 to 9 inches tall, forming dense mats of foliage. It's a shame that yellow archangel is invasive, since its bright yellow flowers would go a long way toward brightening a shady spot in the landscape. The plant resembles spotted dead nettle, but is slightly larger, 1 to 2 feet, with larger leaves. But don't be deceived by its good looks. This invasive plant tends to get out of control in the yard. It is an especially severe problem in the northwest US. Liriope spicata is another potentially invasive ground cover for shade. Like Liriope muscari and species of the Ophiopogon family, such as black mondo grass, it is commonly called monkey grass. Although all three function as if they are ornamental grasses, none of them really are grasses from a scientific classification. Creeping Liriope has a very bad reputation in the southeast US, though it is less troublesome in the northern part of its hardiness range. It grows to 9 to 18 inches and quickly spreads by forming grass-like clumps. Sweet woodruff is a mat-forming perennial that grows 8 to 12 tall and will positively overtake an area where growing conditions are perfect. For this reason, it is considered an invasive species in some places, especially areas of the northeast and northwest. It is, however, relatively easy to control by cropping in closely with a mower or by denying it water. Pachysandra is an evergreen perennial or subshrub comprised of five species, of which P. terminalis Japanese Pachysandra is the most commonly used landscape variety. 
Pachysandra often goes by the common name spurge, which leads to sometimes confusing this plant with wood spurge Euphorbia amygdaloides purpurea, which is also used as a ground cover plant. However, Pachysandra is an aggressive plant that is considered invasive in many areas of the northeastern U.S., from the Atlantic coast to Wisconsin. Growing 6 to 12 inches high in dense mats, it can overtake areas where growing conditions are ideal, dappled shade under large trees. This habit can make it an ideal ground cover for some areas where lawn grasses are difficult to grow, but it does require you to monitor its spread. Common periwinkle is a low, spreading vine with attractive purple, lavender flowers. It can be a very good ground cover for a gardener able and willing to keep it under control, but it has escaped cultivation and naturalized in many areas of the northern U.S., thanks to its ability to adapt to almost any soil condition. This is not a plant you can plant and forget. Many experts caution against growing it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.